In this video, we'll discuss the room divider wall type. The room divider is an invisible wall used to divide spaces and rooms that are not divided by physical walls. We'll discuss a few different scenarios that this wall type can be useful. I'm going to begin in this plan. Chief Architect is room based. Rooms provide the basis for generating floor and ceiling platforms. Without an enclosed room, no floor or ceiling platform will exist. In a situation like this, where I'd like to create a porch without using a railing or a physical wall, I will need to use the invisible wall to define the space. You can find the room divider tool under the wall parent tool in your architectural toolbar here. Or by going to build wall room divider. Drawing room dividers is exactly the same process as drawing walls. You click and drag to draw their length. As you can see, nothing changes in my 3D view, but now I have a room that I can open to specify further. I'll double click inside this room to open it for specification. I'm going to name it a porch, which has a different set of room defaults than other room types. Specifically, it has a 4 inch concrete slab floor rather than a fully framed floor platform. Then under the structure panel, I'm going to remove the roof and ceiling over this room. As you can see, I already have a pergola over the space. Now let's move to the interior space of this home. As you can see, right now, I have a very large open space great room. Room dividers can help me break up this space for a number of different purposes. I might want to partition the space out into the living, dining, kitchen, and entry areas. Using the room divider gives me the ability to open up each room and name them separately. I also might want to have a different flooring or ceiling material in one area of this room, and having them be separate rooms will allow me to do that, as the flooring and ceiling materials are tied to the room that they're in. Or I might want to have a flat ceiling in one area of this room and a vaulted in another. So dividing into different rooms lets me choose which ones have a flat ceiling over them and which ones are open to the roof or ceiling planes drawn in above them. Finally, I might want to lower the platform in one area of this room and using the room divider will let me partition that space that I want to lower. So now I'm going to show how the room divider will allow us to do each of these things. I'll select the room divider tool and use it to create several divisions to this room. One dividing the kitchen from the family room here, one dividing the family from the living area, and one dividing the entry to the living area. There was already a room divider connecting the fireplace to the outer wall. When you have an island room, a room fully contained within another room, Chief Architect places a room divider to help the program distinguish between the larger and the smaller room. It can be moved, but not deleted. Later, I'll show you how to turn off the display of the invisible walls so you don't see them in your final drawings. Now I'm going to open up this room and remove the flat ceiling over it so it's vaulted in this area. I'll also name it the living room. When I do this, notice how my 0 inch room divider converted to a 4 inch invisible wall. This happens whenever there is a change in either floor or ceiling platform from one room to another. We need a depth to the wall so that we can place an interior wall in that change in ceiling or floor platform. If we go up a floor, you can see the attic wall that was placed above the invisible wall. And in 3D, 
you can see that wall here. Then I'm going to open this room, name it the family room, and under the structure panel, remove the flat ceiling. I'm going to lower the floor 10 inches. Again, the invisible walls indicate where there was a change in floor or ceiling platform. And in 3D, you can see that we have both a wall above and below the invisible dividers. Then I'm going to open the entry area and change the floor material. So I'll double click inside the room again to open it, change the room type to entry, then under structure, I'm going to select edit next to the floor finish, then select the texture, and I'll choose a tile material for this area. Now that we're finished working with these room dividers, I'm going to turn off their display in my plan view. I'll select my display options here, which lets me edit the layers for the plan view I'm currently in, which is my floor plan view shell. I'm going to search for invisible and deselect the display of my walls invisible layer. Now, my room labels remain, but I don't have the dividing lines of the invisible walls, which would not be necessary for my final construction documents. So to recap, room dividers is a handy tool that allows us to divide up great rooms into component parts to change the ceiling or floor platform, floor or ceiling materials, or room name of each part. They also allow us to create a room and generate a floor or ceiling platform in a room that doesn't have four physical walls.